fundamental roles of government is to protect us from enemies. And right now, we are not protected. Hope is not a good foundation for a national security strategy. We need to recognize the threats that are out there, and the threat of ballistic missile attack is real. Americans need to know that we are completely vulnerable to a ballistic assault, armed with a nuclear weapon. The longest times are typically around 30 to 33, 34 minutes, uh, and that would be for a long-range missile uh, that would be fired, for example, from North Korea to the United States or from Iran uh, to the United States. Less than 33 minutes away, the whole city, their whole life could be annihilated. That if an enemy of America had a ballistic missile, they could basically use it to hold America hostage. Then someday there'll come in a moment when America wants to go forth in the world and do something good. And the enemy's going to say, if you do that, we're going to shoot this missile in New York or Los Angeles or San Francisco. It's, it's very difficult to, to guess the number of states that will have ballistic missiles in 10 years. I mean, if one follows a straight line projection, uh, the number gets quite large. It's the type of state uh, that is acquiring ballistic missiles that is most, uh, most disturbing. And we've already seen the transfer of very short-range rockets and missiles from a state uh, to a terrorist organization. When you marry that with a weapon of mass destruction, even one, even one fired into an American or allied city could, could cause tremendous devastation. My number one concern today uh, is a terrorist with a nuclear weapon. Some crazy maniacs to attack us, harm us, and destroy our life. Biological weapons are most casualty weapons. They can uh, cause diseases in humans, in animals, and kill them. We should expect not dozens, not hundreds, even not thousands. Probably we should talk about tens or hundreds of thousands uh, of possible casualties. I'm standing in front of Ground Zero, one of the most devastating attacks in all of U.S. history. So imagine, instead of planes, if this had been a nuclear weapon on a ballistic missile, and it had detonated just a few thousand feet above our head. Or electromagnetic pulse, a massive push of ionized particles that might incapacitate every electrical system in the United States. Life in America would never be the same. A ballistic missile defense uh, does provide us with a more effective deterrent uh, against countries like North Korea and Iran. Americans also should know that they are not alone. They have very good allies. They have them in Europe. If we don't deploy whole missile defense projects, it would mean that we will be held like a hostage. Our negotiating position will be weaker, we could fail. Evil has to be prevented. We've got to close off all avenues of attack. It's quite simple and clear to me. If not America, then who? The myth that missile defense won't work, we've heard that for many, many years, despite the evidence, despite the successes. Time and time and time again, we've proven the critics wrong. Uh, initially, they said that they we would not be able to hit a bullet with a bullet. Well, we've gotten beyond being able to hit a bullet with a bullet. We now are able to hit a spot on a bullet with a bullet. Once the ballistic missile is detected, uh, it, it alerts ground-based and sea-based radars. Uh, they then put their radar beams on the incoming missile. And then basically, we fly the interceptor, what we call the kill vehicle, right into the warhead. The technology has caught up with uh, the vision that President Reagan laid out, frankly, back in 1983. It's up to us, in our time, to choose and choose wisely between the hard but necessary task of preserving peace and freedom and the temptation to ignore our duty 
and blindly hope for the best while the enemies of freedom grow stronger day by day. Many Americans may think that we already have an SDI program because they heard Ronald Reagan and other presidents talk about it. The fact is that we do not have enough capability right now to do what we need to do. Many countries now have nuclear capability and ballistic missile capability, which would enable them to launch an attack from many thousands of miles away, uh, wiping out an entire city or perhaps even an entire state. It's critical that missile defense be a part of our national arsenal. The threat of somebody having a ballistic missile to say, I can push a button and in less than an hour, your country will never be the same. Missile defense, as a part of the total defense of our country, is found in the very first paragraph of the Constitution, the preamble. The Constitution calls for the role of the federal government to give us the common defense. It's one of the most basic things that the federal government should be doing. The people should demand a commitment from their leaders that they will finish the job. This is a fundamental obligation of the federal government to defend Americans. I believe that American leadership is essential. It is critical for America to lead. America is, after all, freedom's greatest hope. So when all else fails, when all the negotiations have broken down, when there is a missile in the air, you have to have the ability to destroy it. Because the only other ability that you would have would be to apologize to those that died.